Hello, hello. It's, it's um, so basically, I introduce myself as Emilio Estevez. That's how this works. Okay. And um, I'm here today with my great friend Emily, mm -hmm. and we have been drinking today, and we just realized we have so much to talk about about relationships and sex and stuff. Yeah. So let's Emily yeah. tell me about your. Dating history. My dating history? Yes. Um, I've been in a series of long-term relationships from when I was 14 until now. Um, shortest one being eight months and longest being three and a half years. So you know quite a bit about the, the being with the, of the people. Yes. What would be your major advice for our drunk viewers <laughs> about when you're being with the people rather than finding the people? Okay, so most important thing is you find people that are good to be with by not looking for them. So all of my past relationships have been friends of friends, have been people I randomly stumbled into and at an event. Um, I've never been on like a first date, like I've never done the like go out on a date, like meet someone for the first time thing. It's always been just happened to run into people. Um, so and then you know, you get to know them from there, because that's the thing, is you start, oh. yeah, yeah, you, <laughs> you start from a position where you're already being yourself. It rolls into it. Yes. I was totally going to check and see if there's any more, but there's no more left. No more. Um, <laughs> good, because we're just, like, we're just, we're chatting, the reason we're even, the, the, this video is going to be a disaster anyway, so I might as well explain, we were already chatting about this, and then I realized, duh, I need to make this video, so that's why we're doing it. <laughs> Um, uh, oh, because we were, uh, pff, uh, hmm. so, <laughs> it's okay, this is totally how this is supposed to go down, no worries, <laughs> right. I'll totally edit it, no I won't. No, you won't. Um, because we were chatting, like, about my ex and my rela past relationships and stuff and how, like, I changed certain things to make things work for him and, and I, it's not that I would want the other way around, mm -hmm. someone changing for me, it's that I'm hap I feel like... It's a very good thing that that ended, um, because you should find someone who's kind of, like, a, that maybe doesn't fit perfectly. A too perfect a fit might just be that, too perfect. Mm -hmm. But someone who's wants to um, get up when you do and do the things that you want to do and do those certain things, rather than um, you having to put aside certain parts of your day that make you happy and that make you feel more proactive for that person. Yeah. So, you know what? Speaking of... Like, tips for staying together, I guess, mm -hmm. was your initial question. Is, yeah, getting up and going to bed at the same time is probably one of the number one most important things I've noticed throughout my relationships. The second your schedule starts changing, where maybe they're going to bed later, you're going to bed later, um, or they have to get up really early and you're sleeping in or vice versa, that's when everything starts going downhill. Because mm -hmm. you don't realize that that time you know, when you're waking up next to each other, when you're going to sleep is so, so important for your, you know, pair bonding, essentially. And so when you're, <laughs> when you're, I need to take that pair bonding, <laughs> when, save that for later. <laughs> when your schedules are different, then you don't get that quality time together. So, yes. Oh, mm -hmm. you know what? I'm going to reward you with some, <laughs> Thank you. she's behind on the wine. So, mm. Pair bonding is what we're going to take away from today. This is actually probably the most, I would say, the most productive <laughs> episode of this that's ever been. And that there ever will be. I can promise you this, that I'll never have someone who actually has good advice. <laughs> well, thank you. Wake up and go to bed at the same time. Pair bonding. Because <laughs> it really helps when your mojos are aligned. Exactly. Because you know what happens in the morning and the, at night time. <laughs> yeah yeah so I guess suppose I never remember how I finish these videos but yeah that seems like t four minutes and 24 seconds seems like a good amount of time to be talking about relationships just stuff yeah so um cheers I can't because it's empty <gasps> it's bad luck yeah. fuck yeah <laughs> thank you for watching thank take you. your pair bonding advice with you thank you Emily Beautiful, lovely mwah, vessel of love <laughs> and information, and good day to you all. Good day. Do do. She's your dance. Good She's day. a dancer too. Do it with me. Good, good day. day. <laughs>